My name is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a room tour and giveaway. When I get to the item in this room that I'm giving away, I will talk about it and what you need to do to win it. But besides that, I hope you enjoy my room. This is kind of, my boyfriend calls it my cave. <laughs> it's like an office, living room, library, like combo. It's technically a spare bedroom, but it's basically my office, library, living room, cave, if that makes sense. Also, Mustang is in here with me, so I'm sure he's gonna be running around the entire time. It's fine. But yes, I'm gonna start off with my bookshelves and kind of go around the room in an anti-clockwise direction. So here we go. First, there's this closet. You guys will not see inside of it because it's pretty much just a junk room. I do have my flash hat here that I wear when my hair is being unruly. But in here, I keep some extra like wintry clothes and my art supplies, my luggage, stuff like that. And then here are my bookshelves. If you want a bookshelf tour, please let me know and I will definitely provide. Just to kind of go over some random things on my bookshelf though, I do have my Owl Crate kind of pin collectors here just hanging on the side. This shelf is where my Harry Potter stuff was and then I decided I did not want my Harry Potter stuff out and about because of obvious reasons. But on my bookshelves everywhere, you're going to see a lot of really amazing candles like She's Not Afraid by Pretty Queen Candles. This is a black owned Etsy shop that I absolutely loved and adored. Mustang already wants out. Hi. Oh, your brother. Oh, you don't want out? Okay. Not completely related, but I do have my Naruto Funko Pops and the manga. I have the Naruto with the Rasengan, I have Kakashi, I have Kudama, Naruto, I have Sasuke, and then Kudama with the Susanoo cloak, and I love them so much. Also not completely book related is my Fullmetal Alchemist section. I do have a bunch of my books and merchandise, reference books, manga, and then I have Edward Alphonse with his cats, Mustang, and Fear Bradley. If we back up just a little bit, I have this amazing art print by, I think his name is Niku on Twitter and Etsy, and he has a Twitch channel. I will link that down below as well. I have some trinkets that I made, bought, or acquired for my Josephine Angelini bookshelf. I have my candle that I made for my child by Fire Read Along, my galaxy jar and a couple other trinkets including my lights so yes here is my bookshelf if you want an actual bookshelf tour please let me know and i would love to give one to you this is the stool that i film on and mustang shark that he likes to sleep in look at that little guy i have a shadow box it has some sand and some volcanic rocks and some shells from the base of Mount Fuji. I did take this photo when I was in Japan. I love it and never getting rid of it. Moving right along, I have this gorgeous print that I got from Leah from Where in the World is Leah Jane. It is Mulan and it is on like this really amazing material that I absolutely love and I just got a gold frame for it and hung it right on the back of my door. This is a paw pad with little toll beans. <laughs> Out of my library into my office. I do have plushies and a net for my plushies. I got this lamp from Ikea. I have an all-in-one HP pavilion desktop. It is touch screen. And then I do have a second monitor hooked up. It's not touchscreen, but it's there. On my desk, I have post it notes, a postcard that Kate from Chapter Kate sent me. A very beautiful message. My mouse pad is another picture of Mount Fuji that I took. Here is my two favorite coasters. We have the fourth Hokage coaster and my Kelsifer coaster that I got in Japan. The computer chair is exactly what it seems, the computer chair with 
a cozy blanket. Moving right along on the very first shelf of my desk, I have my Japanese learning materials. Some drawing reference books. My actual Japanese studying materials in my bullet journal. My Japanese studying postcards and some office materials. On the second shelf, I have some post-its because I use them for work and I'm working from home right now. A little thing of kind of writing utensils, a little junk trinket tray. I have some notebooks that I use both for work and for when I get random video ideas. I have my phone stand that I got in the latest Owl Crate. I have this little box here that I like to keep my um, Momo eraser in, my chapstick, extra hair ties, and my earphone case um, that I also got in Japan and live by it. And then there is a picture of my boyfriend and I. On my desk, I have my computers, but I also have my laptop. And I do have cute little stickers um, of Naruto and Kudama. If you don't know, I love Kudama. Kudama is Perfect. We'll look at them. Down in between here, I have my Cintiq 16 inch tablet. It's a drawing tablet. I love it. And I keep it in a protective case so the cords are away and everything. So the screen, pen, and cords are protected from my cats. Next, I bought this little cabinet from Ikea. Inside, I have most of my fandoms. Pokemon, I have some superhero stuff. I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing with that shelf my Stitch slash Disney shelf, and then the rest is pretty much my Pirates of the Caribbean slash Johnny Depp items. I've gotten rid of a lot over the years, so this is great. On top, we have clips with the different days of the weeks in Japanese that I, I don't know, I made them and I like to study them because I always struggled with the days of the weeks for some reason in Japanese. I'm getting better, don't worry. And then I also have this little guy that I got at Ikea. And then I have all my bullet journaling stuff, my midliners, my pens, my um, thin tips, and some extra pens, pencils, and stuff like that. Under one of these is my washi tape collection. And under the next is my stamp collection. And I have this all on a beautiful succulent tray, and I love it. So out of the office, and into the living room. Hello. Here is my TV that I use to be lazy. Down we go. I have this like little light board that my boyfriend got me for Christmas. This little cat plushie. It was a keychain, but the keychain part broke. And I got it when I was in Japan because it reminded me of Havoc. And then my Nintendo 64 goes here, but I took it downstairs a couple weeks ago to play downstairs. But I do have that extra controller up here. Next is my manga collection. I don't have a lot. My Switch games, another keychain of Pusheen the Cat, my DS games, I have my Game Boy Color, and my case, and my DS. Down is my case for my Nintendo 64 games. I don't have a lot anymore. Donkey Kong 64 is downstairs, but I do have 007, the world is enough. I have Mario 64, I have Super Mario 64 that I love, and classic Mario Party. And I'm honestly not sure where my Mario Kart went, that's fine. I have some headphones, and I have all of my Pokemon walkthrough books. Here they are. And now moving on to the item you can win for this giveaway. I have an extra Japanese street tapestry. Quite large. Let me back up some more. Here it is. It's beautiful. I do have it kind of tacked up here because my walls are weird. But here it is. It's beautiful. It's just looks like a painting yet real it kind of looks like there's a school back there or something um and it's at a train intersection it's beautiful so you can win this 
and details on how to win it will be down in the description box and I will go over it at the end of this video. Below this tapestry is my new yoga mat that I haven't used, haven't opened, had it for a couple months now. Oops. I do have some new coasters and it's just some kitsune. It has um, some constellations and just absolutely beautiful. And I did find it's supposed to be a picture frame um, stand, but I thought it worked really pretty with these coasters. My new favorite Bath and Body Works is the Champagne Toast. And then I have the Aromatherapy Sleep Black Chamomile. If you go down a little bit, I have my AirPods, my TV remotes, and a small selfie stick that doubles as a tripod. If you go down a little bit more, I have, I have a candle and a lighter, and then my currently reading books and my Kindle. This is my comfy area, and I did buy myself a recliner. It rocks, and the foot area goes up. Over to the side, I have a laptop tray, so my laptop doesn't overheat if I am sitting here using it for any reason, especially editing. And then I do have my Naruto wearing the fourth Hokage coat um, blanket. I will be taking that to Japan with me as one of my comfort items. Off to the side, I have a cat and I have um, this little table um, just in case I run out of room over there because I do spend a lot of time in this recliner. I do have this. It swivels, it comes out, this part swivels, and it's actually what I've been using to hold my phone when I film now. It's just really easy just to keep it attached and up like that. And then below that, I have a little cat bed because my cats spend a lot of time in here if I'm in here or if Sean is using my TV for Sunday night football. And to wrap it all up, I do have a nice window right here. I have this fan that was a gift. This is how Sean watches the football games. I have a little wind chime that I got. It has what looks like little fish on it. And then the kanji for water. And then just to wrap it all up, I do have my three legendary bird Pokemon prints that I got from a very good close friend of mine. And if I can find his shop information, I will link that down below as well. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am kneeling on the ground right now because my stool literally just broke as I sat on it. No, that does not make me feel good about myself. But anyways, I will post the Twitter link down below because this is going to be a Twitter giveaway. So please comment on that post. It is going to be like, retweet the initial tweet and then comment a screenshot or a photo proving that you are subscribed to me and you will be put into the drawing to win the beautiful tapestry I showed you earlier. It is brand new, it is still in the bag. For some reason, Redbubble just sent me two even knowing I only ordered one. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to do a giveaway for that beautiful tapestry because I don't need two and I thought it'd be a, just a really great way to show my appreciation to my subscribers. So as I said, this will be a Twitter giveaway. So I'm really sorry if you don't have a Twitter but there's gonna be a a lot going on for me in November or I'm expecting a lot of things to be going on for me in November and it's just gonna be the easiest way for me to do this giveaway and though I am doing a Twitter only giveaway I know that's really restricting to a lot of people so I am going to be opening this giveaway up to international subscribers so if you have a Twitter and you are either domestic in the US or international you can participate so that's kind of my way of kind of evening the scales so those of you that don't have a Twitter you can either make one otherwise I'm just really sorry, but it's to help me stay sane, organized, and it's just the easiest way for me. But like I said, I hope I'm helping at least a couple people by opening up to an international giveaway. But I will link all of that information down below as well so you don't have to remember it off the top of your head. And just thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I am really trying to get to um, at least 800 subscribers by the end of the year. And I am hoping this is a great way for me to do that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys all next time. On love. Bye.